Hello, hello everyone. It's time for a new energy update. And today the updates are on family and um, are you willing to change? Those are two of the topics I'm gonna to talk about. Now, and how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? The world is going so fast right now. I think we're forgetting to be present and, um, you know, be with each other and talk to each other and ask, how are you doing? And, and really listen to each other. And that's a part of family. So family has been energetically, um, in rising up for, for since COVID, um, I would say since four years ago, um, because the different things that are happening in our world are affecting the families, um, are affecting, um, what do I want to say? like different beliefs systems are coming up because certain agendas have been put out there into the world and people have different opinions on those and um, those differenting opinions through um, are, are causing conflict in the family and some of our programming, propaganda, stuff going on since then too has been about breaking up the family. So as we've had, as I've talked about, if you've followed me before, we're having breakdowns in systems in order to have breakthroughs and create something new. And I see this with the family also. It feels like the family issues are intensifying in a way that is making us think about what does family mean? And this has been particularly um, important to me. Like it just, um, uh, and, and I know other people, I've been, I've been hearing a lot about there's uh, disruptions, challenges, things coming up in everybody's family, it seems like, um, that are feeling very traumatic, bringing up old traumas, um, bringing up issues that have not been dealt with, um, you know, asking us it, to heal, our, heal those, those, the family traumas, the family issues, bringing up things that maybe you didn't even see about your family or didn't understand that that's how the family was running. And I want to say there has been for generations um, we've all been programmed, we've all come from families that have ideas, opinions about how things should be and um, for, you know, centuries, hundreds of years. Um, and a lot of times we could have different discussions about what works, what doesn't. Um, and just like if we were in, we were in a, you know, in the government, it would be like, well, what will work best for the people? What do they need? How can we all come together and figure out how to create this, right? And in a family, that's not always, it's usually, um, you know, your parents come from their grandparents who come from their grandparents, you know, their parents, except back. So we have all these ancestral beliefs and programming, plus the media, plus whatever um, um, religious cultures. Um, I was going to explain, like, um, you know, you have. 
I'm sorry, there's so many things about family that I wanna be sharing and I wanna stay on track. And those of you that don't know me, um, I use notes to keep me on track. And so um, that's why I'm, I'm, I've, I'm probably feeling a, a bit scattered because I'm wanting to say something here, but it's not time yet for me to say it. And I'm trying to make this very logical and simple because it's, it's not. But so when we're born into a family, right? What happens a lot of the times is that for our own feeling of safety and security as a little baby, we are, we, we start to adapt to what the family believes because you don't have your own consciousness until somewhere between seven and nine years old. So before that, you are a sponge for all the energies around you. Um, and you're, you're also, when you're in the womb, you're, you're um, soaking in your mother's emotions and different things that are going on with her that, um, uh, stay with you and then you come out and you have this family that has a way of doing things you know whether you're the first child the second child third child whatever um, but there's the parents you know um, have like this is how we did it this is who we are and you're going to be that too and so you start even though you might have a different way that you want to be and show up in the world, but you 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 get the message that this is who you need to become. You um, you know you you join if your family is religious, you're in that religious group. If you are um, if they're political, you're in that family's political. Unless they're open-minded, you know beautiful if they are, but otherwise it's like you don't really have a choice until you become. A young adult and then sometimes you don't feel like you still have a choice because that's how you've been raised and you don't understand that you can have your own choices and um, go explore the world and and find new things out about yourself that because it that we're, we're programmed in certain ways to not um, and, and a lot of this is done un unconsciously but we're programmed to not feel safe if we go outside of what how we've been trained through our family through our religion through our culture um you know there's a um through our through our governments through our media there's so many ways there's so much information that comes in and is saying this is how we should be and this is how a wife should be and this is how a husband should be and those keep changing and they've been changing and they changed a lot in the last four years and all of a sudden you know the government's becoming more involved in the family and family choices and um it's so it's bringing up a lot of issues, but also just because of different things that are happening or people have different opinions, again, the we there's been a propaganda around think this way, and if you don't think this way, then you're a whatever the term is. And, and, and that's become, that's definitely something here in the United States. You either look at things this way, and if you don't look at it that way, then you're labeled over here you're labeled something over here i'm not i'm not going to get into that but it's like if you're not this then you're that and that's so untrue <laughs> because and that just becomes easy for people to not have to think and figure things out and so it's it's our families have become that way and there's different opinions about um starting to come up uh because of of conditioning and programming and propaganda that's been fed into the system and the government trying to come in and take control of your children and what they can do without you having a, a right to have a say um, even you know what your doctors can do you know a lot of different things um, of, about not having freedom of choice and that's creating individual uh, opinions in within the family 
and so that and uh, so that could be your birth family and that can also be your family that you created with your partner and the children that you have or, or don't have but within within that realm and because we've grown up you know that the family and and yours will look different than mine and 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 mine will look different than somebody else's too um, because you've grown up with this set of rules right these 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 um, kind of unspoken rules or there are spoken rules where you know we are this uh, we do this we we vote this way um, we we believe uh, about the world in this way you know so there's these it's like in a box right so you were like born and you're a free spirit <laughs> and then you get put into the family box and and that box starts getting uh, you know thicker and thicker and, and deeper um, with with the amount of information that comes in it keeps defining you in that and and how much you play in that box um it was really hard for me to play in any box because i was always curious what's outside the box and a lot of us are a lot of us are but some it was just easier um, and less threatening to just go in the box just be in the box just be here you know and figuring sometime they'll get out of the box and so anyway, we're having a, that time in this world where a lot of people are gonna wanna get out of the box. And um, are, but also it, when, you, when things get stirred up, I remember this um, uh, Buddhist monk, um, I, I was in a, in a class with him and he was saying like, you have to stir the pot up so the shit all rises. <laughs> so you know what's there, you know? It's like, you know what's dealing, you can, and then you can clear that. And um, it's like, we're stirring up the pot and we're getting to see all of the, all, all of the uh, lies, all of the illusions, all of the things we've been believing about how we should fit in this box to fit into our family, to fit into society, to fit into um, a religion, to fit in a political party, whatever it is that we're, we are, you know, um, we've been trained uh, and um, conditioned to, to do that. And now, for lots of various reasons, we are, we are changing physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, spiritually. Our bodies are physically changing. Things are happening that are, are awakening us um, that, that we, we wanna to start to see a new way. We want to get out of the box. We wanna create something new and, and that has more meaning. And so we're coming into this, we're expanding our consciousness of what, what you mean, what family means. And so I'm just sharing a lot, like there's, I know probably the majority of you are going through stuff with family issues right now. And I want you to know that this is a place for you to learn, to really learn. Every relationship is a huge learning place. And what are we learning? We're, we're learning um, to love unconditionally. That's the bottom line. Eventually, we're all, all of this is coming to loving unconditionally, being unconditional love, loving yourself unconditionally, allowing people to have their opinions, to have their, have their choices. And, and that's fine. That's for them. But also you allowing yourself to make new choices, to um, get out of the box and to love yourself doing that and not be afraid of doing that and not be afraid of, you know, being abandoned, feeling not safe, feeling jealous, resentful, shame, anger, uh, guilt, um, battle, go to war about this, to battle each other, you know, um, w without that right without that and it's and so in this process i call this so this is like one of the biggest things we awaken to is our family is is what is the meaning of family 
and where did we come from in our family and what are we creating in our new family and so that is to awaken you are awakening this area of your life and this has been happening little by little it's like an eruption is is happening uh, an eruption in a lot of the systems and think of the think of family like it's a family system but i'm i'm going to actually ask you to think bigger than what you would normally think of family this is what i've been discovering um so i want to and i i'll share a little personal here too so um you know, I was um, very much the outsider this last four years, and I'm considered a, um, um, oh God, I never remember the term because I don't relate to it. Oh, conspiracy theorist. Um, but um, so, and the majority of people around me and the people that I love the most, you know, I mean, that not the, that I, that are my family. <laughs> that are my family, um, you know, did not, uh, I didn't fit in with that family and how they're programmed. And, and so because I'm out of the box, out of their box, and um, not playing their, their game by their rules of the family, and, and, um, and also how the propaganda was proposed that the American family American public should should react that I was out of that box um, again so I'm just showing you the different versions of family right so it was like and if you are not in the box playing by the rules we want you to play by then we're going to shame you we're going to abandon you we're going to call you a terrorist a uh, conspiracy theorist um, we're going to uh, you know make you feel crazy um, and this happens for different things like in a family like you have the rebel right the the each kid can't be the same so everyone each child shows up a different way so you have the complying good girl i'm gonna be a good girl i'm gonna take care of everybody emotionally and um so so that i can keep the keep the peace in the family right um, or you have the good girl, good boy, you have the people pleaser, you have the rebel that's like, fuck you and blah, 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 that causes the, the, tr the, the discord in the family. But they're like, I'm not living in this box. It doesn't fit me. Right? So there's all different ways. And then there's the one, the woe is me. I can't victim. I can't, um, live up to the the older child, what, you know, whatever, whatever, however, like look at your family and um, look how you grew up. Where are you in there? Did you fit in a box? Did you put it in? Where Do you feel good in that box? And then as you're creating your family, how have you created your family? I would, what I know now, I would have raised my family um, completely differently um, than, than what I did but I have to learn and then I'm sharing this information with you so you can, you know, hopefully uh, make new decisions and be out of that box and feel good about being out of the box um, because I was a people pleaser. I was a perfectionist. I didn't want anybody to know that I didn't know something. <laughs> um, and um, because, uh, you know, and I took care of everybody else. I, I put everybody else first. And I thought I had to be in the box and be a Martha Stewart and, you know, you know, crazy stuff. But um, anyway, so I just want, so I'm sharing this. So there's a lot of different ways that all of that showed up and maybe someday I'll just share that um, conversation. But I, I, I don't want to take up your time that way right now. So I want you to start thinking about family, not just being the family you grew up in and not just being the family that you're creating yourself and and look at the relationships and what are the beliefs the vows you made um what what's the you know what are the rules that you have been living by 
to be a part of that family and does that serve you does it feel good does it um what would happen if you got out of the box you know you got out of the the religious box and or got out of the political box and um and it's really hard right now earlier that we used to sit around and everybody would have different opinions and be coming from different you know um, perspectives and we could have conversations about that that's not happening now and like I said the government has their hands in the family and is telling people through the news through advertisements through movies through music um, how they should feel what they should do what is allowed what's not allowed, uh, allowed and um, and um, how to make people um, feel bad about that through all of the media um, magazines, etc., and um, about, about masculine and feminine, and what those relationships look like, and what what is possible, and they're sexualizing our children, and all these different things that are happening right now, which is a huge breakdown of of the family systems, but it's breaking down, right? So we can get rid of these boxes, and people can start to create you can start to create your own beliefs and meaningfulness about what family is. And so I, um, I want to say, so there's birth family, then there's the family you created, there's like cultural family, national family, religious family, cosmic family, <laughs> Um, government that's getting into family, there's gangs, cults, and clans. Um, and there's probably other things that I'm that I'm not um, I'm not sharing with you right now. Um, but what the break this breakdown is so for this awakening of what is family, what are our relationships to each other? And it's also so you can awaken to see yourself anew, see yourself and find out what do you really believe? What do you really want? What's really meaningful and important to you? So even within this bigger picture, you are, it has to start with you because you are the creator of how you see your family. So when, when, you know, um, the last four years were going on, I had to recreate, I had to get, I was out of my box, right? What, um, you know, there was a lot of people that were saying, oh, if you are with a partner or whatever, or if any people that are part of your friend that, that are, um, I was hearing this in some of the spiritual communities that, that got the job, then you should leave them. And I was like, what? like that does not that is not real like so there was like the conversations um that that was like that is not how we you know it's like if somebody gets cancer do you leave them if if, if life becomes hard with somebody and it's not or or there's a, or a, a, a challenging that that you're just gonna up and leave like i've learned so much going through and unconditionally loving the people that are in my life that totally disagree and don't see me or understand me but love me and um, it, because of the choices that I make because I'm um, an individual thinker <laughs> um, and I can see also I also know that they've been programmed as I was programmed and um, that they that they are in this place that is not um, of their conscious choosing that this is something that's been happening over time and you know even my children and I raised them that's why I say I would raise them different I had no idea some some of the things that I that I learned during this process but I am not going to abandon my my children my family the people I love and care about because at this moment they've been they've been conditioned to see me a certain way um, you know I actually see it as like this is part of my my role in this world is to role model unconditional love that's my dog barking at something there's a FedEx FedEx truck coming up it's okay it's okay buddy. 
Bodie, Bodie, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Bodie, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Bodie, Bodie, it's okay. Hey, go get your, go get your blanket. Go get blanket. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So anyway, you can. Um, you know, it, it's 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 a practice. Like I just saw this as a practice to be unconditionally loving. I if I want to create this world where we can all have opinions and get together and create ideas together with different opinions, then I have to role model that. I have to walk that talk. And I think all of us are going to have to, well, not all of us, it, some people are going to choose not to ever do that. And you might be like, Marilyn, you're full of, mm, and you know, stop this video right now. But I've had the biggest learnings through all of this, uh, really questioning like, okay, I have to love myself unconditionally. And if I want to be loved unconditionally, and I want to express myself unconditionally, um, it's my job to um, love them unconditionally also. Like they get to express it, they get to have their opinions, they get to do what they have to do. Um, because I don't know what, what they're here to experience in their life. I'm not in, I'm not them. I don't know what's best for them. I don't know if they're supposed to go through what, you know, whatever challenges they're supposed to go through. I have to trust that they're on their path, like I'm on my path. And, and, um, and my path is to love unconditionally and to teach that and to teach that you are unconditional love like you are a spark of God you are here for that and that we all are and if we can understand we've all been programmed we've all been put in been uh, at least they try to put us in boxes it started way back with our great 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 grandparents and little by little you know things were uh, created and, but it's gotten really intense in the last five years. And, um, and so much so that, you know, a lot of our systems are breaking down because they don't work and we can't live in those boxes anymore. We don't, a lot of us don't want to live in those boxes. We're creative, um, healthy, um, whole people and we don't want other people uh, telling us um, how we should live and what we should do and what we can do. So, um, so anyway, so I want you to start thinking uh, bigger. Let me look at my nose here. And, and so to start asking questions like, um, you know, why am I, why do I have this feeling towards this person? Why, why is, uh, why am I in this conflict? You know, what, what is my part in the conflict with this person or that person or my family? And, and also understanding we've all been programmed, right? So we're all coming from that unconscious place and some of us are awakening. So you have different or have been awakening um, to, to this reality but some of you are just coming to this or 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 the family I, I know the family is usually a part where you start to see such differences and you feel the it, it, um, irritations and the fears that come up because it's like you want to do something different but you feel like oh my god if I do that then um, I don't feel safe and um, and if I do that I won't feel secure and if I do that they might leave me and abandon me and then what will happen and so you feel alone right so there's there's and a lot of us have felt alone because we felt misunderstood and unable to really communicate or people not really wanting to listen right which we're gonna have to learn how to communicate better with each other how to listen and um, and I might be speaking to some of the choir here I'm sorry but um, um, but that I'm um, two other people. So it's not only a sensitive talking to each other, it's us in the world with everybody else and what's going on. Um, so one of the things I wanted to um, 
I wanted to make right is get the point across is that we're also one big family. And so I want to say how big this family is because it's really like this just this has changed my life. So it's like the one fam one big family is together is our ancestors us humanity community thinking of that as community um uh, but as our humanity gaia you know our cosmic family like we have to think like we're this is one big family and how to have the um how to create connection to Gaia, connection to our ancestors, connection to our cosmic self, our higher self, connection to humanity, which might be our right now, you know, uh, it, it's looking at it as, yeah, so whatever nation you're in, again, like your, your nation, your religious family, if, if that's important to you, your spiritual family, your soul family, right? I created a lot of, of soul family um, as I was growing up. Um, and so it's, it's, and what this has, what this has evolved in. So it's like, what is my relationship with Gaia? Because Gaia is a living entity, right? So Gaia is a living entity. Humanity, each individual is a living entity. Um, our ancestors are a living energetic entity and they influence, they can talk to us, they're with us. There's like what you can't see is still there. The cosmos, the stars, the sun um, are, are the, the, the ETs are all, you know, energy, entity, intelligence. And when we can see we have a really big family <laughs> to play with, right? To engage, to create with, that we are whole and that we are supported in so many different ways, then we don't feel as alone. We don't feel alone. You don't feel alone at all when you can have be communicating with all of that. And there can be people that disagree with you or have different opinions or think the world should be this way or that way, right? But we can hold that and um, create with that and ask what is the highest good for all of us, right? If we're all coming from this place that we have been programmed to feel limited, we have been programmed to um, the, uh, to be a certain way in order for a few to benefit um, and we need to break out of this um, break out of this box that we've been put in to think that this is our world and that this is all there is and to break out of that and to be empowered on your own to feel that empowerment is having your roots your roots in Gaia, feeling your connection to the trees and the minerals and the crystals and the, the animal kingdom, etc. Like all of those are feeding us, are nurturing us. Um, but a lot of times we're like, like that's separate from us. And it's starting to think again, what's the new meaning of family? Like this planet is one family. We are a family on that and we're related to others in the cosmos. And some of those cosmo uh, individual entities are, are, are here on this planet too. It's like, we're not separate. And so, yes, I am broadening, kind of taking the, the micro of the family, right? The, the immediate family and, and putting it out into a macro vision, like, oh my gosh, if we're, everything is related, everything is connected, everything comes, is within what we call the one or God or what, what quantum field, whatever you want to. And, and I don't even know that we know the extent of that. Um, or it might be another name or, but it's energy. It's energy. We're all energy and we're all connected. 
And you can connect to anything just with your at intention, attention, your focus, where you put that. So if you're not feeling connected to Gaia, go out and put your feet on the ground and notice a tree and notice the animals and, and the birds. Yesterday I had two red-tailed hawks fly circle over me seven times. And then I was laying out and looking at the stars and the sky was like doing incredible things. And, um, and then a, a, an owl flew right over me and then up to our chimney up there and stayed there for a little while. It was just like, you know, once you tune in, it's like, there's my family. <laughs> and I have birds flying all over and I have my dog and, you know, and I have my people and, and, and you and right. And so it's just like, oh, they're all talking, interacting um, with me and throughout my day. Sometimes I notice it more, sometimes I notice it less, right? And I think once we really learn and, and build this connection, we start looking at each other differently. And I think when you have like, you think of Mother Earth as your family, then you start treating your family um, like you treat yourself. So it's like um, you want that unconditional love or deep caring, how you want to be treated, you treat other people, right? It's like they might not be treating you that way right now, but you will be creating it. What you put out will come back to you. What you put out comes back to you. If you are judging and saying, oh, they're not right, this isn't right, etc. Um, yes, they're, I'm talking different things here. I mean, I, I just want to be clear. Nobody can abuse anybody. Nobody can hurt somebody um not talking about allowing that but just on the whole like i see you i understand i know why you have the you're believing what you believe and i because we're i have my own opinion and we can each have our own opinions and and agree to disagree and i want to hear what you have to say and if you want to hear what i have to say then you can hear it or 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 not, right? Again, it's like we honor and respect Mother Earth, humanity, ourself, our family, uh, our friends, um, um, humanity, our our everything. We can re respect everything that does no harm, and um, and then we can respect that there are shadow stuff and and stuff happening in the world that we don't like and um that 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 is doesn't feel right and we can respect and um that that is teaching us something too and um and and learn from that just learn um learn different things from that i'm not going to go into that right now so let me look at my notes again okay so so I think it's like, look at, um, look at the, the, what you're scared about, uh, what, when you were a child, what were you, what scared you? And, um, when you were small, what made you not feel safe? And, um, where are you reinforcing through your actions, through your thoughts, through your feelings, through your opinions, through your rules, that you that you aren't safe, and that was one of the things that I had to keep doing too. Um, growing up, because I did not feel safe at all. I, in fact, I would wake up in the middle of the night and and not feel safe. And I had to start telling myself I'm safe and being logical. Like I've got a roof over my head. There's food in the refrigerator. I, you know, I have Plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, what whatever it took for me to feel safe and one of the things that really makes me feel safe and I, I see that happens a lot in the family right is because you feel alone because people aren't on on believing what you're believing and that's you're gonna have to let go of that because um, you're not here to change people's beliefs you're here to live your life let me say that again. You're not here to change people's belief. You're not here to change people. You're here to be you. And so you need to figure out what is 
how do you want to live your life and what's important to you and then take those actions to be that and I am here to um, be express myself freely and to have joy and and unconditional love and to share the knowledge of, of getting there now that doesn't mean that I don't have fear when I see the when a fear comes up then now I can look at it and say what is my programming around that what's got me in the box where where did that come from um, you know why am I why am I not feeling safe right now what what is it and so and I've done that over and over and over and over again that's why I'm a, I'm a coach with myself so I can do that with my clients and help them um, feel free and uh, free to express themselves in the world and discover what they want to express because a lot of a lot of us don't know that we're programmed a lot of us think something's wrong with us because we're different, you know, you, um, um, and that we didn't go along with the programming. That's one of the things that I'm seeing, I'm finally realizing is like, oh, like I hated in school that you had to memorize things. It just didn't feel right. I was not into memorizing things into school. And I, there was even points, you know, I was made to feel, um, dumb don't worry you're gonna you're gonna go and marry somebody so don't you know I was like what's that about and uh, like your education doesn't doesn't matter and I really you know I'm smart I have read a lot I probably have a lot of PhDs in on, on my own from from what I've studied because um, I love to learn and grow and I'm learning and growing every day so by me making my choices but I I was taught that because I didn't learn the same way that they people learned in in um, educational systems that um, that I used to think that um, I wasn't taught how to think and now I realize I they were taught you know schools teach you tell you I don't know if I said that right I wasn't taught how to think um, the way the schools were teaching, but the tools, the schools are teaching you what to think. And then I finally got like, oh my God, I do think, I think a lot. I, I, and I think independently. And you know, one of the, one of the things that I always had that would get me uh, in trouble a little bit in school was because I could see things, I would think, I, you know, give me something to think about, like family, right? And I look at it from this way, and then I come over here, and then I go up here, then I come down here, and I'm, you know, and like all those things, so look at it from a gang, look from it as programming, look at it from, you know, the religious, the government, etc. You know, I, um, uh, from, from heart, from narcissism, from what, you know, I, I look at things in all different places. And then they would say, okay, write about that. You know, I'm like, how can I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to communal, communicate all of that stuff that, um, and, um, in a way when they'll say, just choose one. And, and it was just like, I can't, I, that, that isn't how I see the world. So anyway, it just, just kind of shares with you how I operate. But so I'm sharing with you that there's so much more to family and to you feeling safe and to you creating what it is that you desire. And so look at the areas that your current meaning or definition of what family is and see if it would serve you to expand that um, and break it down and maybe even destroy it in your mind get get rid of the box and then start thinking more about like so what type of family how do how how would that look for me and um on um you know where would i start that and come come uh you know do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and i'll help you figure that out okay the 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 other the other um, energy update is, are you willing to change? So all of this energy that's coming in, that's changing our body, 
that's changing our minds that's you know give it that, that that energy is huge influxes of energy coming in then it's wiping you out and um and then you're having uh intuitive hits to either move to break up with relationships or or to get into relationship or to change career you know all these different things the big question is are you willing to change and the thing is, is if you resist what is happening right now, so like resist getting out of the box, right? Resist um, showing up in the world. Resist is uh, if it feels overwhelming. And that's, again, one of the things I can help you with is um, in coaching is so that it's not overwhelming. You just are not knowing how to manage your energy and manage your mind. And when you learn how to do that, then you're not gonna be so affected by what is happening out here. Um, and so you can better, again, feel grounded. And when you start having a new perception of how you are supported in this world, how you are safe in the world, how you create in this world, um, you will not feel alone and you will be excited. You will be really excited about possibilities and what it is, um, where, what, what we're um, moving towards, what you're, what you're moving towards and realize that you are whole, that you are healthy, that you are resourceful, that you are creative and um, it's allowing those energies and you are unconditional love you are just this loving energy right wanting to be expressed wanting to be play to create to interact to um explore and um and it's this is why you're here so when there's fear in the way you there's know that that's programming that's keeping you from doing what you're naturally here for and also that you are here in doing that naturally to help support the whole rebuilding of the the, the whole transformation trans uh transformation that of this breakdown into the breakthrough into the creation of the new and um but it starts with you and so don't worry about anybody else just do your work and just show up the way that you're wanting to show up and if you need help i'm here for you and i love you and until we meet again love live and matter and i would ask you please like this and share it um so it can get out it, you know it's it's all those algorithms and stuff that um, that really matter on reaching more reaching more people and I want to reach more people I really want people to to know that they are unconditional love and to start living from that and creating from that and you can help me do that thank you see you soon bye